Hello friends, uh, welcome to my tutorial. Uh, in this, we are going to explain about the JSON passing, uh, JSON passing with advanced level. So JSON passing. Okay. So I already created one video on JSON passing. I strongly recommend you to watch that video before watching this one. Okay. In this, we are we are uh, handling dynamically changing dynamically changing json okay so there can be a type there there are some times when uh, you don't know exactly what columns will be there in json and what kind of data will be there in json so this tutorial will be going to helpful for you okay so i'm going to explain about the common scenarios that will come here so what i'll do is like i am taking one example here which I have explained, which the same example that I have taken in the last time, which I explained in the video. So in this, you can see this is a JSON object. Okay. This JSON object is a address. Okay. Address JSON object is having the key value pairs. The key is straight, uh, street address, city, state and postal code and the corresponding values were mentioned there. Okay. So what if uh, these values will change dynamically what if uh, uh, something like city will come in other order whereas a street will come in some other order uh, sometimes this this whole object won't be there so instead of giving statically we have to handle this kind of scenarios in dynamically so I'm explaining you the example please understand clearly okay so in this workflow this is a basic workflow uh, um, here I am reading the JSON JSON file and I am using the deserialized JSON since it is only JSON object it is not the JSON array you can see this is a normal JSON object okay and uh, then I have read everything into the into the J, JSON string okay so here what we want to consider is we want to get this objects dynamically street number city postal code all these objects dynamically so for this the parent is address so we have to loop to this address values to get them dynamically so for that what i will use is i will use for which loop for which loop i will use here in for which loop what i will do is like js dot js of that address address okay here what i will take is this is very important here this type is j property type is j property okay once you can get that i'm just displaying everything message box item dot to string that's it I'm saving it now let me execute this file this workflow by keeping uh, this one aside so you can see street address we got it and the corresponding value we can see state, city we got it corresponding value state we got it corresponding value and postal code also we got it okay so like this we need to handle here we got the corresponding values by uh, they are uh, divided by the colon so what you can do is you can apply that split function on those this uh, uh, you can apply the split function on the semicolon like this and you can apply it and you can get the corresponding key value pairs if you if you want them in a key and value you can pass like that okay now let us change these values and let us see how our input how our thing is going to handle our workflow is going to handle okay what i'll do is i'll keep it in the end and see how it is working i'm just saving it now completed now i'm executing it so it is sorry 
postal code position some issues there with the postal code position 11 i think it is related to semicolon yeah i forgot to keep the semicolon here so this is the issue i have to remove the semicolon here okay now i am saving it now i am running it you can see state address came state came postal code came now city came now it came out so i hope this will be useful for you and please let me know if you have any issues yeah karthik signing off